alkyl compounds with gamma hydrogen upon irradiation by UV light will give either cyclic product or nourish type 2 reactions. Let's see when cyclic product is major and when nourish type 2 reactions is major. Cyclic product is major if alpha carbon has two alkyl substituents. This is the carbonyl compound. This is the alpha carbon, this is the beta carbon, this is the gamma carbon with gamma hydrogen. Alpha carbon is having two alkyl radicals here that is 2 CH3s. So this alpha carbon has two alkyl radicals. Upon irradiation by UV light, the gamma hydrogen is abstracted by the oxygen atom of this carbonyl compound to form 1,4 bi radical. This is the 1,4 bi radical. Okay. Now this alpha carbon has two alkyl radicals substituted here. This 1,4 bi radical will undergo cyclization and form a cyclic product. So this radical and this radical will join together to form a bond here. As a result of which, we will get a substituted cyclobutanol. This is the major product. At the same time, beta cleavage also occurs in this 1,4 bi radical. The beta bond between alpha carbon and beta carbon undergoes homolytic cleavage, forming a radical on one radical on alpha carbon, one radical on beta carbon. As a result of which, we get OH or CH and CH3 and CH3. This is an enone. And here we get R one bond and another bond because of these two radicals. One radical on the beta bond and one radical on the gamma hydrogen, gamma carbon. So we get an alkene. These are the minor products. This enol can tautomerize and give keto. So if the alpha carbon is having two alkyl radicals, it will give cyclic product as the major product. Now let us see other conditions. If an allylic radical is present, cyclic product is major. This is the carbonyl compound with an allylic radical here. See, when it is irradiated by UV light, gamma hydrogen is abstracted by the oxygen atom, forming a radical here and a radical here. This is an allylic radical. This radical along with this is called allylic radical. Since allylic radical is stable, it favors cyclization. So this 1,4 bi radical will join, these two radicals will join to form a cyclobutanol, substituted cyclobutanol as the major product. At the same time, beta cleavage of this 1,4 bi radical occurs. The bond between alpha carbon and beta carbon 
undergoes homolytic cleavage giving us two radicals one on the alpha carbon one on the beta carbon as a result of it we get an enol and an alkene so this is these are minor products so the major product is substituted cyclobutanol okay then if the biradical formed during photolysis of carbonyl compound having a gamma hydrogen is stable it forms cyclization as cyclic product as major product let us see this this is the carbonyl compound alpha beta gamma this gamma carbon is having two substituents that is two ch3 groups here so when hydrogen when gamma hydrogen is abstracted by oxygen atom it forms a radical which is tertiary radical that is the radical is connected to two more carbon atoms so this is a tertiary radical tertiary radical is stable so this by radical will undergo cyclization this radical and this radical will come together to form a bond giving us cyclobutanol substituted cyclobutanol as major product so if the by radical is stable we get cyclobut substituted cyclobutanol as major product now let us see another condition if cyclic ketone with gamma hydrogen is irradiated by uv light see this is a cyclic ketone this is the this is the alpha alpha carbon this is the beta carbon and this is the gamma carbon now the gamma carbon is having a hydrogen atom this hydrogen atom is abstracted by the oxygen of this carbonyl compound when it is irradiated by uv light so as a result of which we get 1,4 bi radical. This 1,4 bi radical will undergo cyclization. That is, this radical and this radical will combine together to form a cyclic product. So, this is the major product. Now, let us see when we get nourish type 2 as major products. If alpha carbon has no substituents that is alpha carbon has two hydrogen atoms and no alkyl groups then the pro the carbonyl compound will look like this alpha beta gamma this alpha carbon has two hydrogen atoms so no substituents here when it is irradiated by UV light, the oxygen atom abstracts the gamma hydrogen to form 1,4 bi radical. Now, this 1,4 bi radical will undergo beta cleavage. Beta cleavage that is the bond between alpha carbon and beta carbon undergoes homolytic cleavage to give us an enol and an alkene these are the major products cyclization also will occur of this 1,4 bi radical but it is a minor product
product so if alpha carbon has no substituents the major products will be beta cleavage that is norish 2 type reaction giving us enol and alkene if alpha alpha carbon has one hydrogen atom and one alkyl group then also beta cleavage will be the major product this is the carbonyl compound this is the alpha carbon with an alkyl group on alpha carbon so it has only one alkyl group when it is irradiated by UV light the oxygen atom abstracts the gamma hydrogen atom forming 1 4 bi radical this 1 4 bi radical will undergo beta cleavage that is the bond between alpha carbon and beta carbon undergo homolytic cleavage forming an enol and an alkene these are the major products so these are the major products cyclization will also occur the 1 4 bi radical these two radicals will join together to form give us a cyclic product that is substituted cyclobutanol but this will be minor product now if beta carbon has an alkyl substitution then also we get norish type 2 products as major this is the carbonyl compound alpha carbon this is beta carbon beta carbon is having two alkyl groups substituted so when this carbonyl compound is irradiated by uv light this oxygen atom abstracts gamma hydrogen atom forming 1 4 bi radical this 1 4 bi radical will undergo beta cleavage that is the bond between beta hydrogen and alpha hydrogen will cleave giving us an enol and an alkene these are the major product the enol will be converted into ketone by tautomerization at the same time this bi radical will also undergo cyclization this radical and this radical will join together to form a substituted cyclobutanol but this will be minor product so if beta carbon has an alkyl substitutions it will give us norish type 2 products as major products thanks for listening please subscribe share and like and comment thank you